There are clear signs of how to recognize an early stage burnout. Let's take a closer look at them. And at the end, I'll show you a test that I do with my patients. If you're suffering from a burnout, I've prepared a therapy plan for you, showing you which micronutrients you can treat yourself with. You will find a link to a website in the description below. There is also a video there explaining what you can do. You will find the right micronutrients that will help you regain energy. Here are the signs you should look for. But it's important that you do a really good job on self-reflection and look deeply and honestly at your symptoms. You might also be wise to add a good friend into the conversation. The symptoms that I'm about to describe might seem like everybody has them, but within a burnout, these are felt strongly and deeply. Number one, exhaustion. And by that, I mean real exhaustion. Not just a little tiredness in the morning when you wake up. I don't want to wake up yet. That's what everyone wants. It's about being exhausted. That means you can hardly go out and take a walk. You really don't have the energy for your work or life anymore. This is exhaustion. This is very different from fatigue, which affects everyone. Second point, sleep disorders. Almost everyone has nights when they don't sleep well. I know these nights too. When I talk about sleep disorders indicating burnout, I mean severe sleep disturbances every night. You cannot fall asleep for two, three hours. Or you fell asleep and after an hour you wake up again, thinking about your problems and can't go back to sleep. You may have slept only two or three hours. In the morning, you have to go to work and you simply have no strength. I mean real deep sleep disorders here. Third point, depression or panic attacks. Most doctors consider burnout to be a depression, therefore the German diagnostic word is depressive exhaustion. I see it differently. To me, burnout is physical exhaustion. But if you're a person who likes to work, who likes to perform, and then suddenly can no longer work, because your body is incapable of doing so, this can then secondarily lead to depression as well. But for me, it is wrong to primarily start with antidepressants right away. In my view, this does not make things much better. We need to find other ways to get out of a burnout. But panic attacks are part of it. Suddenly, you're afraid of something. Fear of losing a job. Afraid that the world will crumble around you. These are partly real and partly unreal fears. So please, really self-reflect on this. Ask your friends, your wife or your husband. Do you talk about your fears all the time? Do you come home every day and talk about the fear of losing your job or anything else? Or are you afraid of your bosses? When such fears are present all the time, it could lead to a panic attack, which can cause sudden panic attacks during the night or during the day. Finally, the fourth point. With burnout and impending burnout, you will also notice physical problems. These can be very diverse. Headache, rapid heartbeat, nausea, joint problems, sleep disorders and so on. These are all modest or low profile complaints. That is why people hardly ever go to the doctor for them. But these accompanying symptoms of a physical nature are symptoms of a burnout. At the beginning, I explained that there is a simple test I use to recognize an impending burnout. You will find the link below where you can order the test yourself. It is a saliva test. We measure cortisol three or four times a day. If you're close to a burnout, if it hasn't happened yet, and you're under severe stress, all your values will be too high. 
way above the norm, then you will know you are at risk. If a burnout has already occurred, all these cortisol measurements are below normal, and you will see that too. You can order this test yourself, and so you can self-assess yourself. If the result is not clear, and you do find it hard to interpret the results yourself, please consult your physician. And finally, once again, check yourself. Talk to your friends. Find out if you are at risk for burnout. Do this before it's too late.